Well, hello again. This is another update of the uh, F86H Saber Hall that I've been working on. Uh, as you can see, I made uh, a little bit of some more progress here. Uh, what I've done is basically uh, glued on the uh, wings, stabilizers, and the intake for the front of the plane. Um, I did have a few little issues with it on these three parts, but uh, we got them taken care of. I'll kind of show you what I've I did, uh, basically. Um, the first thing that I uh, basically did was to glue on the wings first. I basically dry fitted them uh, to make sure that uh, it was a good tight fit. Uh, with a little courage, encouragement, uh, I did get it to uh, line up with the fuselage and everything, and it, it was a tight fit, but just to be sure, I uh, uh, took, took it back off and uh, I actually took my hobby knife and just trimmed out a little bit uh, more so that uh, it would fit a little bit more smoothly. Um, I reapplied it again for another dry fit and once I was happy with that uh, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and glue it. Uh, I Basically the first step I did was to actually use some testers uh, glue and uh, went ahead and attached the wings to the fuselage and I let them set up for a little bit and uh, after a few minutes of set time I actually went back and used some Tamiya extra thin cement with a little brush attachment and I actually uh, brushed along the seam line between the fuselage and the wings on either side uh, so that gravity would kind of seep it all in and give it a tight, tighter fit. And I did that on both the top and the bottom of the wings there. Uh, the next step that I did, uh, and I kind of, you know, let that sit for quite a few hours. And the next thing I did after that part, it was the uh, stabilizers. Now, I remember back when I was a little kid that uh, this seemed to be one of my... Uh, worst nightmares because no matter how patient I was trying to glue these things on uh, they would always break off so uh, what I ended up doing was using my helping hands and I actually attached the, the wings to the clips of my helping hands so that I could rotate the helping hands to like a 90 degree angle and then using my magnifying lamp and looking through that I uh, basically attach the uh, stabilizers uh, that way and by <clears throat> and by having it at a 90 degree angle uh, instead of or you know almost like a nose dive uh, uh, on the aircraft uh, that way uh, the gravity you know forcing down on the stabilizer one wouldn't, wouldn't make the stabilizer uh, stabilizers uh, you know fall while it's, it's, it's curing so it kind of helped relieve the pressure that way. Um, you know, like I said, the, the, it was in the nosedive, like in this position, in my helping hands, and uh, and I seemed to work out okay. So I let that sit overnight for uh, 24 hours, and then came back. And uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, I just want to make sure everything was equal on both sides and. Uh, symmetrical and uh, I think it worked out pretty well. Uh, another thing I did too was because <clears throat> on the back of these stabilizers in relationship to the fuselage there's not really any kind of a locator pins or uh, inserts that you can actually uh, glue these stabilizers to. It's basically flat on flat. You know there's uh, so basically that's why I want to be very careful with it and once again I did a kind of two-step process uh, by first uh, putting a little bit of the testers and, and this is not the red tube type of testers uh, I basically uh, use this uh, type of testers so I could fine-tune the uh, the glue to where I wanted to go I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not 
Uh, once I did that, and then applied pressure with the fins with using both my hands while sitting in the helping hands, uh, and I let that sit for a while, and I backed away from it, and it, while it was curing, I basically went back, and uh, I used some Tamiya Extra Thin Cement once again uh, with the uh, little brush attachment on there and I carefully uh, brushed on either side of the stabilizers on the top side and underside and let the gravity of the uh, of the thin cement permeate into the uh, into the uh, you know plane itself and uh, that seemed to uh, make it a little more stronger bond to it so uh, that's what I did for both the wings and the stabilizers. Uh, turn the plane around here, uh, kind of give you a side profile. The next thing that, uh, the third thing that I did was uh, on the plane was put in the intake uh, piece. And when I dry fitted that, uh, it was a pretty good fit, but it, it did have a couple gaps in it on the back side of it only because when I glued the intake trunk of the cockpit uh, part of it was sticking out of the front of the uh, of the uh, fuselage so I went back and I actually trimmed up the uh, intake trunk area and recessed it back a little bit so that the next time I dry fitted the actual intake uh, it was a much better fit uh, once I was happy with that, I went ahead and once again kind of glued that, held it in place for a few minutes, and uh, let it cure overnight. And then the, uh, basically the next day, I kind of looked over all you know, of the plane where I glued everything, and uh, there were a few small little gaps, and basically what I used was some uh, Bondo glazing spot putty. I took a toothpick and basically ran along the seam lines where the gaps were at on either side of the uh, of the plane as well as around the intake uh, and uh, areas of the back of the plane as well um, you know around stabilizers and stuff and then just kind of gave it an overall look over and uh, just to make sure everything was right sanded everything down with uh, 600 grit sandpaper and once I was pleased with the results, I basically taped off the uh, cockpit area and uh, just a nice light spray of the uh, primer once again to cover up all the uh, red uh, glazing putty and let that sit overnight until the next day. So at this point, this part of the uh, aircraft is pretty well done. And my next step basically is to start uh, attaching the uh, landing gear and uh, the fuel tanks and uh, uh, you know the cockpit seat and other parts but uh, pretty much I'd, I'd say it's probably about 70-80 percent uh, getting there and uh, so that's about all I got right now to uh, say at this point uh, in this project, and uh, probably be I'll say it'll probably be one last update. It might be the finale, just because I'm so close to getting it finished. And uh, until then, uh, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch y'all later. Bye.